it's Phoebe and today I'm at Universal Studios in Singapore. A captivating theme park nestled on Sentosa Island, Universal Studios Singapore offers a dazzling array of attractions inspired by blockbuster movies and beloved characters. From pulse pounding rides to immersive lands, every corner promises adventure and excitement. Now it's Southeast Asia's first and only Universal Studios theme park and today we're gonna check it out together. We'll explore the park, take on a few rides and try some yummy food too. But first we gotta get there. So Universal Studios is located on Sentos Island and there are a few different ways you can get there. You could catch a ride share, you could drive, you can even catch a little bus or a train kind of thing from where Vivo City is located and I'll have some links below for you. But my favorite way to get there and the way we're gonna be getting there today is on the cable car and I'm gonna show you why. So you can get on the cable car from two different locations, Mount Faber or Harbour Front. Now the price doesn't change depending on where you get on, so you may as well do what we did and go up to Mount Faber. You get the very best views over Singapore from the top there, it's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, there are some different ways you can get across to Sentosa, but I love doing it this way because you kind of get a little bit of something extra. You get to see the very best views of the island on the way over and it makes it a little bit more exciting than just sitting in a bus or a train. Now I pre-booked our tickets for this so we could just walk right up and get straight on with the PDF they emailed me and I'll have a link below for you so you can book yours too. you could do that you can walk but it's extremely hot so we're gonna be catching bus a which is like a free shuttle bus here on Sentosa Island it's air-conditioned it's nice and shady it's nice and cool it's only gonna take us a few minutes to get there seems like the right decision Sorted. I thought ahead and got my tickets ordered online through Get Your Guide. And that means we're going to skip the queues, walk straight up to the gate with this voucher, scan and go right in. Get Your Guide offers over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. From tickets to top sites, to one-of-a-kind local tours with experiences provided by knowledgeable local experts, they've got you covered. You can use the app to book and download or access your tickets, meaning there's no printing required. It makes it so much easier to skip the line like we are today. They also offer 24 seven support and free cancellation up to 24 hours before your booking. I'll have a link below for you so you can check out Get Your Guide and find the very best experiences here in Singapore or wherever else in the world your travels may take you. If you've watched any of my other theme park guides, you'll know it is a tradition of mine. As soon as I get to the theme park, I go to the gift store and buy a ridiculous piece of headwear that I can wear all day. So that, of course, is our first port of call today. Um, all right, let's try a few on. Ah! Let me set you up here. Okay, wait, wait there for a second. It's so cute. What do we think? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Is my outfit. That one does kind of look like I'm getting married though. What do we think? <laughs> and the winner was Pink Unicorn! <laughs> this is me for the day! <laughs> 
and I'm telling you right now, you have to get whatever ridiculous piece of headwear you're getting right at the start of the day. Otherwise, you don't get to wear it all day, and this is the only acceptable place to wear it. <laughs> studios in Singapore. The first time I was only here for a couple of hours, I didn't have the express pass and I didn't do it right and I'll tell you what I messed up a little bit later on. But for now that was an awesome opening ride and I think we should go on a few more and make the most of this express pass. Let's go! All right, wait, we were looking at the Battlestar Galactica roller coaster and there's a red entrance and a grey entrance and we were discussing like what's the difference, which one do we do? And this lovely Australian lady was walking past and she's like, the grey one's scarier and faster and your feet hang. That's the one I want to do, the scariest one they've got. Um, now one tip is that you have to put everything in the lockers. We're trying to find where the lockers are. And of course I'm not going to be able to film on the roller coaster, so I'm just going to go and do it and then I'll give you my thoughts when I come back. I love a roller coaster. That was a really, really good one. And again, I'm telling you, Express Pass is well worth it. It was like a 70 minute wait to get on that thing, and it was hot in there. But I think with the Express Pass, we passed, we probably waited about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and my tip to you, my friends, is hydrate. It is a sunny, hot, bright day in Singapore today. I am sweating through and through. So make sure you wear clothes that are really, really light and breathable, very comfortable shoes for standing and drink lots of water, stay in the shade, take lots of rest. Cause this heat is no joke. Mummy Returns was awesome. That was awesome. So it's one of those indoor kind of roller coasters where you like sit down as air conditioned and you're zooming around indoors and it's dark and it was so, so good. Um, I have never done that one before and I really loved it. I gotta tell you, these opening three rides have really set the stage for me. I'm just having the best time. <laughs> Like chicken, I don't know, beef of some sort. Like a 
turkey bacon, kind of a crispy chicken burger. And for me, they have a mushroom burger as well. Um, and it really felt like some fries and a, and a big old Coke Zero. Mm. Let's start with the fries. Good fries. I'm a little scared of this mushroom burger because it's a portobello mushroom, but it's it's all um, deep fried. I'm just gonna take the cheese off there. I'm not a big cheese eater. Ooh, looks like we got some guacamole in there too. Gosh, I hope this is good. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I have visions of that being real dry and nasty, but it's surprisingly tasty. It's got a very McDonald's-like bun to it. And the mushroom isn't like deep fried and gross gross, it's just like nice and crispy on the outside, mushroomy on the inside. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> My one true weakness in this world. Cute boys and Coke Zero. cookies. That says me want cookie. <laughs> so they have like um, a cookie monster themed kind of shop here. They sell cookies and ice cream slash gelato um, and it looks so good. Now I didn't expect this but when the lady presented me with this beautiful blue cookie it's warm and it comes with a fork which tells me it's gonna be really really gooey inside. Um, this is called the nasty cookie. A whopping seven dollars. Oh my god it's Zoe. Celebrity sighting. Is electric cookie time let's try this blue beast and see if it's worth the seven dollars it's so it's like a molten lava river of gooey chocolate inside let me see if i can film that for you hold on i'll film that with this oh look at that oozing out of there are you serious right now are you serious? I mean, I can see why it comes to the fork. And let me tell you this much. Had I have bitten into that properly, that chocolate would have gone all over my white shirt. Okay, that's criminal. It's worth the $7. It's shockingly not too sweet. Good lord. Oh, that's, that's really good. Sorry. My film goes over the bin and people are trying to use the bin. Something happening over there. Let's go have a look at what it is. sweets I have a big sweet tooth but I'm not a huge candy gal that said if I am gonna eat candy it's gonna be some kind of like a sour chewy kind of a thing so I went into the candy delicious candy store and they have sour straps and I think that sounds like me I got a few different flavors for us to try um, I think this well this one's green so let's assume that's apple that's tasty this one's strawberry. Look at what? The strawberry's not bad. Okay, let's try the grape. Oh. The grapes. Oh! Zero candy face! Yeah. The grape is number one. That's so sour.
website about what days or times it happens. I don't think it's happened today or I would have clocked it. And I'm here on a Wednesday. My instinct would be this is something that happens on a Saturday, Sunday, maybe a Friday as well. Look, even if there's not a street parade, I still get to see that rhythm truck, which is awesome. And they have a Waterworld show, which is starting in a moment. So I'm really excited to check that out. Um, I remember really liking the one at Universal Studios in Osaka. If you are going there or if you just want to watch that video, I'll have a link below for you. It's a really good one. Um, but the set here looks identical to that one. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's the exact same show or if it's slightly different.